Why did you come to see me in the beginning? Because I went to the gym for several months and didn't make any progress. Okay. That was the frustration. So over summer, yeah, when you can't go outside, I go to the gym and I try to make progress. Yeah, and there was no progress. I didn't increase strength or stamina. So I thought I, I do something wrong. Yeah. And that's why I came to you. And then we saw the success. Yeah, and instantly I increased my strength. Okay. And what was your biggest fear about hiring somebody to help you out? <clears throat> I would say that, that this person is not, you know, that they have a standard program they go through. And I saw another personal trainer before you, mm -hmm. and he said, you have to come three times a week, and you do this and this and this. And I said to him, listen, I'm a sailor, I want to say, and I'm 50 years old. So, you know, really, there must be something specific you want to do with yeah, me, compared to a 25-year-old boxer. Yeah, we vary a little bit, but my biggest fear was that this is a standard program people are doing. Yeah, but you did. Yeah, you gave me a really individual program where I could come once a week and you gave me my homework. So that, that was so, fine. But my biggest fear was like somebody who just wants to book hours. Mm. So you're worried about not having a personalized program, something that was spe special for you, especially with having some some injuries as well. You needed to have something that will allow for these. Yes, yes. yes. No, that, that's the biggest one, right? That you have a standard guy, you know, a standard program from someone. And okay. So what was the biggest changes you made in, let's say, your first month? You mean in my workout or in Well, anything, practice? anything at all. What, what changed for you in the first month? What did you learn and what, what progressed for you? Well, I think I reduced my hours in the gym. That was quite interesting uh, because the workout you gave me was about 35 minutes. And before I tried to be there one and a half hours. Yeah? So I reduced my gym hours. I think a set of gym hours, so the one time I go, yeah, that I reduced. Yeah? Uh, interestingly, and the biggest gain instantly was in strength. You remember the chin ups? I couldn't do one, right? Huh? After an hour, I'm at six, seven times four, four times six, seven, but I couldn't do one. But I think it was quite fast that I could do a few chin ups. Yeah? And that was just a matter of mastering your, your technique, and um, because you probably had the strength before to do that, you just needed to learn how to use your muscles together. I don't know. You, you, you're right. <laughs> but I could do it after a month. <laughs> but after a month, that was the biggest change I had. Yeah, that was really interesting to see how, how I can do a, this pull up the gym. And as regards your sailing, what changed for you in the sailing? Did anything change there? Yeah, no, of course. As you know, in the sailing, I need to be able to do whatever, two hours of sit ups, more than once for the on a day, two hours of sit-ups, that's basically that's what I need to do. I could maybe hold it half an hour or 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, not, I'm not there yet, yeah, I'm not there, but I'm still at 90 minutes, I guess, I can still go, and then one go, I can do five, six minutes of sit-ups, or hanging out, using my core. So I still need to progress, but that was the biggest change. Yeah. When I go in the boat now, yeah, it's much easier. I hold on much double the time than I had before. You know, the strengths I had. This, this bubble. Fantastic. So you've gained strength not only in pull-ups, but in your sport, in your endurance for the sailing. Yes. And what, what about nutrition? Were you surprised about some of the advice on the nutrition? Yeah, uh, quite surprised because you gave me too many calories. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was more expecting go 1600 or 1500 a day, yeah. But then you say at the beginning it was something like 2200, yeah. Yeah. So you had yeah. extra calories because you need the calories to help support your working out. Yeah, but that's the difference with a personal trainer, like you. That if you do it alone, you would never believe it. Yeah. I would never have done 2200 calories. I would have stayed at 1800 and still worked out. Because I'm afraid of eating fat, 
And that, that's a massive difference towards your performance as well when you're sailing at the weekend. For So how, how many hours would you be sailing at one time? So if it's a good day, yeah, then it's six hours. So six yeah. hours, that's endurance for those six yeah. hours because you're a special type of sailor. So just for people that are watching this, it's not like normal sailing. You're, explain your type of sailing. Yeah, it's a small, a really small boat called a laser. Yeah, yeah. And it's a little bit class. Yeah, therefore it's an athletic kind of thing. So you're not sitting to the wheel and you know having a cigar or something like this. So you you have to you know hang out in the boat. The water is coming in. You have to pull in arms constantly. Yeah. So Olympic class sailors are working out every day for two three hours. They have to in the gym you have to be able to. Cope with the strengths you need. Yeah. Yes. And for everybody that's watching, so as uh, so as we can let them know, what age are you, Diego? 50. 49. 40, 49 years old. So age is not a barrier. Just to prove this, yeah. Diego's super fit, doing chin ups like a boss after a month. So it just goes to show that uh, age is most certainly not a barrier. No, it's not. I mean, it needs more time of recovery, but you scope for it because you give me every two days, yeah? And not every day, but it's still, the effect is the same, yeah? Um, yeah, but that's all, otherwise... As long as, as long as you have a strong mindset, Diego, there's no barriers. You can even have a six-pack day. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> At least you see it, yeah? Amazing. So, what's the plans now before Christmas, Diego? The what? Sorry. Are you going to relax a bit now before Christmas? No, no, not at all. So, I had to work a lot, and then over Christmas, when I'm, I'm off two weeks, okay. every day sailing, sailing, sailing. Yeah? So, my wife and my family know what they're going to do yeah? um, to prepare for the, the new season. Yeah? Amazing. Right. So, exactly. So I there's have no stamina to, to do it every day for two weeks. I believe I can do 10 days of really good training and preparing and increasing the technique because I have enough strength now. That's amazing. So while everybody else is drinking and filling their faces with all uh, dodgy food, you're going, you're going to be working out. I do the same. Yeah. <laughs> I, out, so I, I burn the calories. No, I do the same. Well, that's it. You're going to burn the calories at the other end. That's it, Diego. Diego, thank you very much for your time. And that, that's us.